friends today is another teaching session today i'm gonna share with you three different looks three three different eyeliner looks so that you can give off a different look every day let's go today we are gonna go through three different looks the first look would be a natural look the second look will actually be a guilty and innocent look and the third look will actually be a very sexy and slutty look today i'm trying a new eyeliner as well this is the lily by red am 9 to pm 9 survival pen liner so a friend gave this to me and told me that this is very 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 long lasting so i'm gonna give this a shot today I'm sure a lot of you guys don't draw your eyeliners on the lash line. In the past when I drew my lash line, I always teared. I always started crying. So for a period of time, I just gave up on it. So today, I'm going to share with you an easy tip on how to draw the lash line very, very easily and quickly. Okay? Without hurting your eyes. Come closer to my beautiful eyes first things first i need to share with you where is your lash line okay where is your lash line so i'm gonna be showing you a close-up photo of my eyes and i will draw a diagram out to tell you where exactly is your lash line and where you should not be drawing your eyeliner on okay so where your lash line is is exactly where your lash grows out so like you see all the roots and where your lashes grow out at so those are the exact areas they call a lash line there's a strip of eyelid that does not grow any hair in between your eyeball and your lash line that area is very very sensitive and you should not get any eyeliner on that area okay for such looks that you are going to be wearing on your lash line please make sure that you get an eyeliner that is safe and does not irritate your eyes now that you know where the lash line is we can go on to the first look which is the natural look for the natural look you are basically not looking for any wing this natural look is basically a look that makes your eye look bigger in this way and it does not lengthen your eyes at all but this is the most natural look and if you do it very very nicely people wouldn't even know that you are wearing eyeliner maybe people will just think that you have very long eyelashes which is a good thing right your eyeliner should always be horizontal and it should never go any other angle like poking your eye or whatsoever so for the natural eyeliner the first step you need to do is to draw one thin line And then what you need to do is, from the end of your eyes, draw a very thin upwards line and fill this up. This is basically the shape of how your natural eyeliner look will be. And now we go on to how to fill your lash line. Lift your eyelid. So what you need to do on your lash line is basically dab your eyeliner on the lash line itself and play join the dots basically so once you get all the points dotted you can just slowly fill in the spaces where you have not filled in i used to use one stroke to draw the whole lash line and i always poked my eye and that is not fun at all so yes this is a much easier way and yeah so this is the natural look as you can tell there's no very long wing makes your eyes look slightly wider but it doesn't look very artificially lengthened because there's no wing here now we are moving on to the second look which is the guilty innocent look okay so this is basically what some people call the droopy eyes for example if you are going out with a boyfriend and you want to be like innocent looking and you want to be like oh first date look oh i'm so innocent girl and you can do this this is the innocent guilty eye look it's basically an extension of what you just did on top of what you've done you just need to lengthen this downwards from the end of your eye join your eyeliner to the other end 
and that's it this look helps to lengthen your eyes also at the same time because you're extending that end of your eyes to longer but just that it's going downwards so this is the innocent guilty eye look for first date if you want to be innocent although maybe you are not so now we are back at the natural state and we will go on to our third look so our third look is basically a look that is more like slutty, more sexy, more... Mm, it's basically a very normal wing, but it's not like those American wings, okay? So from the natural state where you don't have a wing, what you need to do is to draw a line upwards and from the center... Let me try again. One line from the end of your eye upwards. The second line will follow the contour of your eye to meet the first line that you've drawn to create a wing. And fill it in. From your eyebrow to your nose, this line, your wing should never extend out of that line because that will make you look too artificial like your eyes are way too big all three looks that i've shared today is definitely usable on an everyday basis depending on whether you want to do it or not but for me whenever i do draw my eyeliner i always use either number three or number one i am not into that innocent look you know i am not that innocent so maybe that's not really suitable for me but yes well on days where i feel more prim and proper I would be using natural eyeliner which is the first one that I shared on days where I'm wearing something more fashionable that's when I will use this one I hope you guys learned something new today oh yes if you want to find out what makeup I'm using today you can go and check it out right here I hope today's tutorial taught you guys a little bit more about the different ways you can draw your eyeliners if you're interested in different ways on how you can apply your blusher, you can check out the video right here. So all these videos are part of my Asian Beauty Tips playlist. If you're interested, you can go and check that playlist out. And I will see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Love me, sub me if you want to reach me. Bye.